Hello and welcome to basically my most magical bookish day ever. In this video, I went book shopping, I opened book mail, I read a book. I basically just spent an entire day doing bookish things, which like, how can a day get any more magical than that? I need to pick up a new release that I pre-ordered and I'm so excited. This honestly, like the more I think about it, may be my most anticipated new release of 2024. That's a bold statement, but it's up there. It's in the top. I'll show you what book it is when I get it from the bookstore. And of course I can't go to a bookstore without buying like 10 million books, but I'm sure I'll also come out with several other books. The book shopping OOTD. All right, let's head out. I just got to the bookstore. I'm at a local Austin bookstore called Larkin Owl. I've only been here once before because it's a little far from where I live. So I'm excited to kind of like re-explore this bookstore. They have blind dates with books. I really want to get one. They're always so fun to open, but I also own so many books. So like what if it's a book I already own? This bookstore had a section of blind dates with books within every genre section, which was so cool. I've never seen a bookstore do that before. I was in blind date with book heaven. And then I checked out the kids section. They had these adorable like sitting and reading areas for kids, which I think is yeah, just so cute. Here are two young adult blind dates with books I debated getting. They had really interesting like descriptions and then they had a new adult section, which makes me so happy. I feel like bookstores oftentimes don't have a specifically new adult section. That's like my favorite age group to read. And I almost bought these new covers of the off-campus series. I still have the old covers with the real people, which I hate. And yeah, it just overall was quite a cool bookstore. I wish it was closer to me or I would go here all the time. And then they also had just tons of products throughout the store, which I think was really fun, like home decor, cooking products in the cookbook section, which just totally makes sense. Yeah, it was just very fun to explore. Bookstores are so dangerous. I made so many purchases that I did not plan on making. First, let me show you the purchase I did come here to make, and that is Bride by Allie Hazelwood. This is her newest release. It literally came out a few days ago. I pre-ordered it because by pre-ordering it through this bookstore, it was a signed copy and a personalized signed copy. Let me see if she did what I asked for. Oh, first of all, comes with a little thing of the characters, cute. <laughs> yes, okay, so like when I ordered it, you could put like what message you wanted Allie Hazel to put if you wanted her to put a message besides just her signature. And I asked for her to put to Allie, my name twin, because I have never met a female Allie in my life who spells their name A-L-I. Allie Hazelwood is like the first girl I've ever heard of spelling her name this way. Name twins, me and Allie Hazelwood. That's so cute, I literally love that, I'm ecstatic. And then the other two things I bought that I shouldn't have bought are two blind dates with books. Like I need more books. This is also so dangerous because I just own so many books and I've read so many books. So I know in the past I've gotten blind dates with books where I already own or have read the books. So there's a high chance of that with these, but I just couldn't resist. Blind dates always get me, they're so interesting it's like what's inside them I have to know this first one is romance this one's dangerous because there's no description but I just thought it was so pretty and it's just gonna be some adult romance I honestly don't want to unwrap it because it's so pretty but it's got to be done okay a little preview is purple on the cover I have no idea what this book could be it's called The Man Must Marry. It says it's a romance about a woman who inherits a business dynasty unexpectedly only to discover that she must marry one of the three brothers who were slated to take over. That sounds like there's gonna be some drama. It's so funny because I literally just finished last night Terms and Conditions by Lauren Asher, which is kind of like this but the reverse because that book is about Declan who has to marry in order to get his inheritance and become CEO. And so it's just funny, like common theme. It's always fun because like this is a book I probably would have never picked up on my own, but actually sounds really good. Okay, next up, this one is a young adult blind date with a book. It says world on the brink of war, swoon worthy romance in enchanted woods. They didn't just say romance, they said one worthy. Okay, let's open it. Preview, we have an eye. An eye. Intriguing. It says, a ruinous fate. This is actually a cool cover. And, oh, okay, wait, she has two different colored eyes and they have dice inside them. Like, she's got dice reflected in her eyes. Is she a gambler? Does she have a gambling problem? <laughs> I'm sure she doesn't. Okay, I just read the first sentence of the synopsis and already intrigued. It says, illustrious, illustrious, 
is like the realm that this book takes place in and it's a cursed realm ruled by the ruthless god of fate that's already a really cool setup it says kala has been blessed with unspeakable powers and so she hides her magic in shame and fear and that she deserted her coven and she's been on the run ever since oh my gosh have we got a love triangle i kind of love that okay it says she gets betrayed by her ex ezra and then she also gets an offer of help from a charming witch so they got a plan to journey into the never-ending forest which sounds sick never-ending forest how cool but she's gonna journey into the never-ending forest with ezra and the witch who is ezra's tempting older brother put me in that never-ending forest please and she brings along her best friends okay i love that i feel like we've got a fantastic fantasy setup it sounds like a great love triangle and then the fact that her friends are coming with her too i love strong friendships in books i really want to start bride so let's go home and start it on my way into my apartment, I checked the mail and there were two book packages in my mailbox. This video is just turning into a little book haul, so let's open them. Okay, these first two books are from Entangled Publishing. No way! They sent me Indigo Ridge and Juniper Hill, which is so nice. I actually already own Indigo Ridge, so I'll have to give this one away. This book is so good, and I was seriously about to order Juniper Hill, so I'm so thankful that they sent it to me. Thank you so much, Entangled Publishing. If you haven't read this series, it really reminds me of the Chestnut Spring series. It's a small town romance, big family, which I really like, so each of the books in the series follow different siblings in the Eden family. And this one also has a murder mystery subplot, which I think is so so fun like any chance to combine romance and mystery I love okay this is so exciting wait I really want to read this soon all right package number two is from penguin random house it's called snow globe oh my gosh look at the inside that's so cool okay it says that this book is hunger games meets squid games which sounds super cool it says that enclosed under a vast dome snow globe is the last place on earth that's warm outside of snow globe is a frozen wasteland oh whoa okay super interesting it says the residents of snow globe have everything fame fortune and safety from the desolation outside the walls in exchange their lives are broadcast to the less fortunate who watch eagerly hoping for the chance to one day become actors themselves that's so interesting. I never heard I feel like of a plot like this. That's super cool. Very dystopian. Let's talk about Bride. I'm just so intrigued about this book. Whenever I said I think this is my most anticipated 2024 release, that may have been a too bold of a statement. I don't know. I can't really recall like what else is coming out this year right now. But the reason why I'm so intrigued about this book is because it's so different for Allie Hazelwood, which I think it's rare that I've read an author write kind of a new genre than what they typically come out with. So this is still a romance, but it's a fantasy romance. Previously, Allie Hazelwood has pretty much only written feminist romances. Her first kind of time doing something different was Check and Make which is a young adult romance but chess academia you know still kind of similar but this book is between a vampire and a werewolf or i guess it technically says it's a paranormal romance so maybe not full fantasy but still just like so different for her so i'm just so intrigued and so excited to read this book I read a page 35, which is the prologue in chapter one, and I honestly really like it so far. The vampires and werewolves don't get along, so Misery is our main character's name, which is such a fun name. She's a vampire, and then the werewolf dude, Lo, they're getting married as like a marriage of alliance, but they don't meet until she's literally walking down the aisle, which is how the book starts, which is a crazy opening. And yeah, I could definitely see this book being a book I just binge. Oh, hi. Yes, you want to get on my lap? Hello. But I have to stop reading because tonight night i'm doing a mystery movie night with some of my friends basically whoever is hosting it picks a movie for us to watch and none of us know what the movie is until it's literally playing like we just go into it completely blind it's so fun but whenever i'm done sitting is when he wants to sit on my lap you gotta get up little bro you're so cute I am on page 96, so like almost a third of the way through, and I am really liking it so far. This book is interesting because it's kind of like a cross between a fantasy romance and a traditional romance, which I guess is literally what paranormal romance is. So yeah, it's just interesting because we don't have as much world building as fantasy, but we still have a lot more world building than a traditional romance. And then there's also this like mystery subplot. Basically, Misery has a reason that she agreed to this marriage of convenience. And that's like where the mystery subplot comes in. So basically with this first like almost 100 pages, we've had the mystery subplot, world building, taking up most of the time, 
and we've had a few scenes between Lo and Misery, but I want more. My favorite parts have been when them two interact. I'm just excited to read about more of the two of them because we haven't gotten that as much yet. I just read a page 226 and so far I have felt like this book has been moving a little bit slower for me than her other books but what just happened I'm low-key obsessed with and I feel like it's gonna start moving so fast for me but yeah this book is fun because it's so different I don't think I've ever read in my life a romance between a vampire and a werewolf I missed my twilight era in middle and high school there's just so much new stuff in this book that I have never read in a book before I just finished chapter 22 and um, that was not something I expected to read in this book. I feel like I just got a crash course in werewolf anatomy. That probably makes literally no sense to you. Basically like a werewolf spicy scene. I don't know how else to say it. Yeah, I was not expecting what happened. I literally had to do some Googling because I was so confused and now I know things and werewolf spice is interesting. I don't know if I'm into it or not. I can't decide, but I'm intrigued. Overall, I'm like very into the whole book. Like this book is great. But yeah, chapter 22 was a little wild. I finished Bride. I really liked it. I think I'm gonna say 4.5 stars, which I'm actually a little surprised that I ended on that final rating because I would say the first half I was at like a four star and then the second half, especially like the last hundred-ish pages, I loved, flew through, obsessed with. The second half definitely brought it up to a 4.5 for me. I think it's just so cool that Allie Hazelwood is expanding, writing different things. I would love for her to write more fantasy, paranormal romance. I would love for this book to have a sequel. Okay, I don't wanna spoil anything, but if any of you guys have read this book, do you think there's gonna be a sequel? The way it ends is not like a cliffhanger or anything. It's not like it needs a sequel, but I think it would be so sick if it got a sequel. Not a sequel between our main characters, Low and Misery, but basically like a sequel that would be a standalone romance with the side characters. If an author writes a fantasy or paranormal romance, they have to make like a whole new world and like the magic system and the history of the world and the politics and all that. And we get all of that in this book. So I'm so just invested in this world and I want more of it. So I think she could definitely do like spin-offs with the other characters in this book. I also feel like I learned so much about like werewolf vampire romances. I think there are definitely things to that trope as you saw when I reacted to chapter, I think 22, that I just didn't know existed. But now that I've gotten over some of the shock, I'm kind of into it. And I honestly think I might be seeking out more werewolf and or vampire romances. Anyway, thank you guys for watching this video. I know it's a little bit different-ish from what I normally do, just kind of like a more vlog style video, a video of kind of a lot of bookish things in one. Let me know if you guys liked this style of video. I think it'd be really fun to kind of do this format again. With that, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.